John. I still remember the first time I met you. It wasn't your abs that first caught my attention or the way that you control a room with your humor, but it was your kind eyes. That's someone I want to be friends with, I thought. And friends we became. And eventually, when the time was right, a little more than friends. John and Annie are really a golden match made by fate. They both grew up in immigrant families, both did not let their circumstances define them, and they both have dedicated their life to advocate for the well-being of others. Best of all, they both share an undying love for the multi poo savvy. John, you've experienced hardships at a young age that normally make a person shrink and withdraw from the world. Yet for you, these experiences lit a fire and forced you to become smart, efficient, and ambitious. And I gained so much respect for you. Yeah, so you guys already know what you guys mean to me, that's why y'all are here. But the impact that you guys have had from since I was in fifth grade on, the high school, through college, and then now, and you guys continue, continually have that impact on me. Something that I will always appreciate you guys as brothers for the rest of my life. So this is a day that, even though I chose you guys as groomsmen and, and as partners today, something that I expect from our friendship and brotherhood to continue on for the rest of our lives, all right? Hell yeah, let's go! Oh, yes. 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 So, thank you everyone for being my twin sisters today. We love you, Annie. We love you, Annie. After you finish medical school, you have to match for residency. And there was a high chance that they would match in different states and would be separated. However, I go back to what our mom taught us, is that there's fate and fortune telling. Maybe it was fate that John and Annie met in medical school. And I think fate intervened to make sure that they both match at UCLA residency. And maybe it's fate that we're all here today so that Annie can bring fortune to not only one Tran family, but two. <laughs> so Annie, there's a chance you might forget everything I say today, so that's why I wrote it down for you. I wanted you to know that falling in love with you has been the most fun I've ever had. And I've learned to love all of you. And I do because you have often sacrificed your own happiness and well-being for me. Even when you're tired, you still try to hang out with my family and friends. Even when you prefer to be closer to your family, you moved to San Jose for me. Even when you knew that helping me with my application to San Jose might mean that we might not be together, you still put me before yourself. You asked me for very little, but you deserve it all. For you, I promise to put your needs before mine. I promise to love you. I promise to care for you, even if you forget who I am. So, John Tran, if you let me, this I vow to you. When we're going on long road trips, listening to sappy love songs, and I turn around confused because I thought you were crying, I promise to laugh only a little bit, but I won't make fun of you anymore. <laughs> I promise to build you a family of little boy Johns and girls to grow our own little village. And when your mom gets older and is unable to take care of herself, I promise to take care of her just the way I know you would take care of my parents too. And finally, one day when you get old and wrinkly, I promise to still be right here by your side for the rest of our lives. So Annie, you may kiss the groom. <laughs> <laughs> I now give you a Mr. and Mrs. Tran.
We've all been best friends for almost 20 years, and although we haven't all been together physically since high school, our love and support for each other will never change. Who knows, maybe one day we'll make it back to each other when we're old and gray. The foundation that I want to share today that John and I have is a bond that is truly trust and support. It's like a river that flows endlessly. There's no off for John and I. We always want to be there for each other every single chance we get, no matter what. It's unnegotiable. Thank you, John, for being my ride or die and setting the bar so high and what a best friend should be. You guys are looking at the CEO of JT Family Care. One is animal. Yeah. Take a moment to look around and know that we are all so lucky to have you in our lives. Treasure these moments in each other and may tomorrow be more amazing than your last as you take this step together as husband and wife. We just want to thank you guys so much for just having such a big impact in our lives. It's not really just coming here. We wanted to invite people who we were most grateful for and that's why you all are here today. So we want to just thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts and we hope to continue this relationship as well. John and Annie, it is a privilege for me to be a part of your wedding and to be a part of your lives. And I have one personal wish for both of you. I wish that many, many years from now, you're able to look back on the life that you've built together, and you're able to say to one another, because of you, I have lived the life I've always wanted to live. And because of you, I've become the person that I've always wanted to be. I love you both, and I wish you a lifetime of happiness together. Cheers.